Today, I got out of the shower, and I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, Luke, you're missing something. Something's something's missing. And I, I, I got to thinking to myself, you know, what could that be? I was thinking, your hair is fly, number one. You look good. Might move a little awkward sometimes. And that's when it clicked. I am missing swag. So today, if you want to follow me on this journey of learning swag, and possibly learn it yourself as well, if you're, if you're a, a small, small-bodied young man like I, who struggles in the field of swag, I got a couple videos for us to watch today. I'm personally excited for this because swag. Here in a few minutes after this 14-minute video is over, they're going to get this weird sensation to be like, I feel swag all around me. I want to be like Naruto with nature energy. It's just going to be a swag, swag energy just surrounding me. Like I'm in swag mode instead of sage mode. This is going to be insane and I cannot wait. Let's get into it. First, the truth hides while she cries. Egotistical inside, so much pride. As you can already see, Nyx is one with nature. If that doesn't scream swag, I don't know what does. What's good, YouTube? Nyx World back at it with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about... Swag. You know he had to show off the side. The side of his hair, the cut. I don't have mine cut. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's part of the swag that I'm missing. I've already picked up a little bit from the swag master. So here we go. So first thing about swag is swag is completely, it's completely subjective. You don't have to have the nicest brands, the craziest designers to have swag. It's not about the clothes you buy. It's the person who wears the clothes, the energy you give off. Keep that in mind. All the branded stuff and all those trends throw out the window. That's not swag. Facts, dude. I see so many people out here rocking Louis Vuitton, Gucci. That look like me, bro. Zero swag. Zero swag, man. If you're one of those guys, watch this video. You got them extra small swag points with the Gucci already. So you might as well learn how to compose yourself. Radiate the BDE. The swag. Have a look to yourself and be proud of that. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is price. I wear white tees religiously. I do. Noted. We just went up a swag point, boys. So, you know, I do everything in these, you know? You know, he's saying that right now, but if we rewind to his intro, was he wearing a t-shirt in any of these? Oh, it's not a white tee either. He's shirtless in most of them. Is that swag? Is this swag? So, be careful. If you can't afford that, then don't invest in white tees. Because once they're dirty, you can't wear them. I mean, you can. But come on now. Come on now. You know washing shirts... You wash the swag out. You wash the... Every time you throw that in the washer... The swag gets washed out. I'll never wash this shirt again. I don't care if it smells like rat piss. It's the swag. It's the swag. I'll just throw some Old Spice on. Not a big deal. Wearing a dirty white tee, is, there's no sense in that. It doesn't look good. It just doesn't. So, that's the first thing. It's price. Oh, I'm good. All I'm saying is, if you can't afford white t-shirts, then maybe, then just maybe, you should rethink trying to have swag. Listen, if you want to wash your swag out, I completely understand. Me and Nix, we ain't washing that swag out. We just ain't doing it. It's just not, it's just not happening. So, have a price, but be confident in it. You don't need Saint Laurent Amiri jeans. H&M jeans are just fine. They all look the same. Jeans are jeans. They're going to be 30 bucks. It's heavy facts. It's heavy facts. I don't even know what these jorts are, bro. I don't even know what these jorts are. 
And you see how swag I look, bro. We're up a few swag points right now. Hold on, let me tighten the belt. I loosen it to eat. Don't judge me. Shop smart. Please shop smart. That felt like a threat. All right, Nick. I agree. But this is aggressive. It's just, it's just wow, you know. And that shirt just hugs your arm. That dress shirt you have, it just hugs you. Your traps, the collars up. It's got a button. Maybe you got a cold necklace. Jewelry's important. Frick, dude. Frick, frick, frick. I'll be right back. I gotta find some jewelry. Okay, so we got some drip. We got some drip. We got Miranda Cosgrove. And some absolute drip. Hold on, my sister's calling me. Anyways, back to our regular program schedule. You know... We're feeling confident. Everyone wears gold chains and silver chains. I like this. I think it looks cold and I like it. I dig it. It matches. Does everyone have Miranda Cosgrove? It's me. It's cool. I like it. Does that mean I'm swagging? So, smell good. This is what I wear. Sauvage Dior. This smells fantastic. This bottle was around $170. Bro, we may not have what it takes to be swag after all. My God, a hundred and se- I want to hear him say it again. Smells fantastic. This bottle was around a hundred and seventy dollars. It's not cheap. But- At least he recognized that that's not cheap. I've chilled with women and they, 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 they ask me what I wear and I tell them. It's Savage. I chill with- I've chilled with women. Some dudes. Have you, seen, have you seen those memes, dude? That's hilarious. This guy looks like he'd be really good at drawing or like painting or something. I like it. It's per it's perfect for me. I'm telling you right now, my my buddy James, part of the podcast I'm going to be doing soon the, at the, called the Bulls Table, he wears the same stuff as me. It's it's insane. I think smelling good, like outweighs looking good. I did, that's just how I think. I think if you smell like dog water, but you look like a... If you're a 10 on looks, but you are a 2 on smells, then in my mind, you're a 3. Never wear more than 3 colors. Ever. Purple shirt, blue jeans, white shoes. That's cold. Dude, this always this always happens to me when I do these kind of reviews. I always somehow once I force myself to watch at least five minutes of a video, I'm invested. And I wonder if that's how everyone else's brains work. I'm invested in his I'm invested in what he has to say now. That's insane. But like like me, I get a pair of NMDs, wear a freaking Naruto shirt with some shorts on a warm day. Or some sweats and a hoodie. That's the extent of my fashion. You look goofy. I know he didn't hear me, but it felt like he did, and that kind of hurt. If you like to sag and your underwear is fading, then don't sag. That looks trashy and disgusting. If you got that brand new black PSD underwear, then sag a little. There's something about that word I just don't like. Sag? Sag? I just don't like... I... <laughs> Call me a loser. Call me lame. I don't care. I've never seen the appeal in sagging. It's probably because I'm white and from the mountains. From the countryside. Colors are very important. They make you look crisp. For example, right now, white tee. I'm wearing these blue jeans. That, you know, they just hug me just right. And I got these... See, like those shoes? I couldn't wear those shoes. I like them. They're nice. But I couldn't wear them. I would look like it would look like I had like a pair of work boots on, where my where I have chicken legs. Twelves on. Keep it simple. Got a little bit of gold here, which is cool. If you got a gold chain, shit, that looks hard. But I got the gold, I got the white, and I got the uh, white tee. So you know, make the shirt match the shoes. That's the number one thing. I'm gonna have to clean my. See, I got some Ultra Boost. They're nice. They're the Disney editions. I gotta clean them, but they're nice. I like them. They're, hey, hey, swag. It's like he smells like ass. 
He smells like a McDonald's bathroom. Don't be around. No one wants to be around that guy. <laughs> oh, God. Why, dude? He didn't have to go. <laughs> Next to that guy. He looks like he smells like ass. He smells like a McDonald's bathroom. Don't be around. No one wants to be around that guy. People want to be around the guy who looks fresh. And if you smell fresh, you know, you got your Sauvage on. You good. You cold. That's your swag. This is my swag. These pants were 15 bucks at Marshall's. These forces were 110 bucks. This t-shirt was $10. This is how I shop. Yeah, sure. This hoodie's a little expensive because I save money over time. These packs and jeans I'm wearing, I got on my Black Friday. Around 20, 25 bucks. Regular price 60. Shop smart. See, I like, I like, I like, I like what he said in this video. The problem is, I'm a PC gamer. Um, I think that's all that needs to be said. So anyways, I have a playlist made of these videos of how to have swag. I have another video for you guys. And let me tell you, I'm excited for this one. The channel is Alpha Male. Alpha M period. It's got 6.27 million subscribers. We're going to go ahead and hop in this, on, into this one. Um, thank you for Nix for teaching us how to swag. We have our white t-shirt on. Our bracelet. Some jorts. I know he didn't say jorts, but I already had them on. And then we matched our shoes with our shirt. We're swagging. Ladies, I'm sorry that I look so good. We're going to get into this video. This video is how to walk like a bad dude. Keeping it kid friendly. Gentlemen, have you ever seen somebody walk in a room and thought to yourself, damn, that dude is a badass. He walks with a quiet confidence that radiates. I'm the f man. It's awesome, right? Well, what's even more awesome is that today I'm going to teach you how to walk like a badass. Sure. Having proper posture when you're walking is critical to looking like a confident badass. Chest up, shoulders back, head up. The third aspect to walk. Oh, God. I don't have the posture for this. Walking like a badass is keeping those hands out of your pockets. Walking with your hands in your pockets, it doesn't exactly send the message that I am a confident stud muffin, which we are going for. Boom, hands out. Number four is all about speed. Not too fast. Badasses walk with a brisk but casual pace. Number five is all about step spacing. Not too short, not too long. Instead, you're looking for a nice, confident, medium stride. Number six. Good job. Watch out. Watch out. Sorry for swagging. This is all about eye contact. Badass dudes, when they walk, they make eye contact, right? They're not looking down at the ground. They're not constantly and incessantly on their phone. Ooh, oh. Right here, huh? You make eye Now, does this mean you've got to stare them down? Not really, but just let them know that you acknowledge that they're there. What oftentimes is going to happen, because you're such a freaking savage, badass sex machine, yeah. they're going to see you and be like, yo, and- Yeah! I'm a sex machine! Yeah! They're going to like, it's almost like staring into the sun, you're so damn hot. They can't do it for too long. Ironically, this is also the best way not to get mugged. The seventh aspect to walking like a badass it's having a little attitude. Not too much attitude, but just a little. How are you going to walk with attitude? Movement. It's all about letting those shoulders sort of roll. I felt that. I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. Here it goes. All right, eye contact.
It is critical that every one of us develop our own badass walk. A walk that screams, yo mama, daddy's home. Home. <laughs> Does this mean that if you're in a wheelchair, you can't walk like a badass? Hell no. What? Walk a walk that screams, yo mama. Daddy's home. Does this mean that if you're in a wheelchair, you can't walk like a badass? Hell no. Um, I'm just I'm just a high school graduate. Uh, I don't have a degree in uh, necessarily anything except being goofy. But I am 98% sure that people in wheelchairs, if they're permanently in a wheelchair, that they can't walk. You can roll your ass like a badass. Some of the most badass dudes I've ever met have been in wheelchairs. Does this mean you can't dress like a sexy savage? Hell no. Does this mean you can't sit up nice and straight, chest up, shoulders back, looking people in the eye and... I'm not saying people in wheelchairs aren't scary, because a lot of them are ex-military. Which is intimidating. Those people are lethal weapons, even in the chair. Still can't walk. But however, lethal weapons. And that's not me like taking shots at him for not being able to walk. Thank you for your service. But that doesn't mean you can walk. So what we learned today, ladies and gentlemen, is that us, we gamers, the estate of the gamers, can be swag masters. Look at the shoes. Look at the fit. Hold on. I gotta compose myself. Look at the shoes. Look at the fit. Get a little smirk in there. Hold on. Hold on. Eye contact. Eye contact. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and you left with as much swag as I have, leave a like, subscribe, maybe even share with some friends. It's up to you, really. Anyways, if you enjoyed, thanks guys. Peace.